the best haircuts for wearing a hair system or a hair unit. That is the topic of today's video. This video is in partnership with lavividhair.com. Those are the hair units that I'm suggesting because they look the most natural to me. Uh, I love the craftsmanship that goes into them and I've had great success with them. I actually have worn one uh, in the past, which you can go back and watch videos on, which I still have, and I'm gonna throw on in a little bit to show you guys some stuff. But really, when it comes down to wearing a hair system or a hair unit, now, there's a lot of things you have to really take into consideration. As a professional stylist, I can spot a hair unit a mile away if it's not properly put on, if it's the wrong density for that individual. And it just, to me, does not look the best or the most flattering for them. I personally suggest a thin skin polyurethane base, a poly base. And that is what this is. Let's just zoom in right here a little bit closer, which means the hairline is pretty much undetectable. It's not super thick at all and it's just the right amount where it looks natural, okay? The thing is, is you don't wanna go from having no hair like this, like me, <laughs> to all of a sudden having this crazy, super thick, you know, toupee or hair piece on your head that's not the right color, it's not the right density, it's not the right haircut, whatever it is, it's just not right for you. Now, a lot of guys think they look great with it, and some do. I've seen a handful that actually look phenomenal with the density and the thicker one they're, they're, they're using, like something like a lace or a, just a thicker base in general and something has more hair density, which Levivid Hair has a huge variety of different types of units and systems, which is awesome. So everything is there for you and you also get 15% off by using code the salon guy, all one word, from your, your purchase. So 15% off on the entire store anytime you buy something from levividhair.com, which is cool. I've seen many scenarios, let's just, let's just switch things up here a little bit. The hair may be a bit too thick or too dense. So here is a uh, lace and poly unit right in through here. And what I'm going to do is put this on. Let's just flip this up this way here. When it comes to a thicker base like so, and I have done a haircut video on this, this is actually pretty cool. I may even be doing some giveaways. So if you're interested in winning this, let me know in the comments below, because this is actually a pretty cool haircut that I did. Now what's unique about this, and this is the thing that I talk about all the time, is I see a lot of individuals who have a super, super thick hairline like that. And on some people, it's just not natural looking, all right? Let's get up a little, let's a little bit closer so you can see. Now here, it may look very, very natural, but most people do not have that much hair in the front of their head. I mean, yes, it's, it's possible, so you have to end up wearing it a little more down like this. So what's the best haircut for a thicker hair type or, or hair system? Something that covers up this. So it's not so obvious. So yes, in case the wind blows, you want to brush your hair back, it falls right into place, you know, and it's kind of camouflaging what the entire haircut looks like. So you're not looking at a, at a unnatural looking hairline. So something that covers it up, maybe a bit of a side part, right? Um, if you do want to have that density, again, be very, very careful anytime you're wearing a hairstyle that exposes the hairline, right? Because if it's, if it's too thick for you, it's gonna look like something is just sitting on your head that doesn't belong there, <laughs> to be honest with you. All right, now, with the unit that I have, which is uh, the one that I suggest for myself as a natural blonde, to me, this not only was the best color, uh, it also just looked the most natural. So when we break this down, so let's see here. When we break this down, uh, what, you are, what you're seeing is, you're, it's, it's, it's like undetectable, all right? It's almost undetectable um, when it comes to wearing this. This looks a heck of a lot more natural. 
not only because of the color, but at the same time because of the hairline. So this has been really worn quite a bit, and I probably can go back in there and retouch up some of this stuff. But when you see this up close, this looks a lot more believable. And trust me, even on me, you actually want to see a little bit of the scalp. And that's what's also great about this, is when you go like this and you separate the hair, I mean, you look right down to the scalp. That's, that's, that's a real scalp right there, right? That's what makes it unique. And you can see right in through here. There's no traces, and the, and the way this is designed and the craftsmanship, like I mentioned before, it's virtually undetectable, right? And, and, and when I was wearing this, I was showing so many people, they're like, wait a minute, this doesn't, how is that even, that's your scalp right there? I'm like, yes, look, that's the scalp. <laughs> so um, again, a shorter type hairstyle, something like this with a finer kind of density or more natural density, you can wear you know, a slick back, you can wear something that's got a little more texture that exposes the hairline just because it's more believable, right? It's, it's just, that's, that's just the way it is. So I personally love the ultra thin skin base, uh, the poly base that La Vivid Hair has to offer. And again, picking out the colors, there's, there's so many colors to choose from. You can get ones with, you know, gray in them or all gray or, you know, different varieties of blonde or brown or even dark brown. So that's really what it comes down to. It also depends on the kind of maintenance that you want. So with a poly base, you basically have to glue your entire scalp, right? And you, pl you put the, the base on. After, I'd say, a week, let's throw this thing on here. A week or so after wearing this, uh, you know, your scalp is making it get a little oily, get a little dirty, and guess what? It's time to take it off and time to clean it. And I have to style this thing. <laughs> but, you know, the point is, is that um, it looks a lot more natural, as you can even see through here, even though it's a bit disconnected, you know, the density and the color is what looks natural. So I have to, you know, you take this off very, very carefully, very slowly, and, and all the tools and all the things that are needed are on La Vivid Hair website, uh, which is great. Uh, so you can purchase all the different glues and the scalp protectors and the removal, the oils you need to take this off. Then you have to clean it. You have to clean the bottom. And it's, it's a process. It's, it's a, I'd say about a week, a weekly process. If you can stretch it out two weeks, if you don't sweat whatsoever, then you're in good shape. The other option is, you know, the, the uh, lace. Right, where you do have some breathability in through here so that maybe you can go a little bit longer, maybe you know, two weeks or three weeks without having to take it off. You could also use tape for these as well. Tape works great. It's just, there's a, there's a lot of different options. And if you do have any questions, you can always contact La Vivid Hair uh, on Instagram. Uh, Tina is great. She'll get back to you, answer any questions. But when it comes down to the haircuts, Again, what's the best haircut for your hair type, wearing a hair system? If it looks natural, right? If the hairline looks natural and you can brush the hair all the way back and even take a photo of yourself, take a selfie and just look at yourself. If you yourself can say, that looks like I'm wearing a hair system, chances are other people are gonna feel that way. That's what you have to really take in consideration is, you know, does it look natural on you? Then, if it does, you can wear a variety of hairstyles off your face, on your face. If it's the density you're concerned with, you say to yourself, I have to have super thick hair. I want the thickest, most dense hair I've ever had in my life. Well, yeah, you can do that, but you may have to wear it a little bit different, like I showed before, a little bit longer. So, you know, and you have to find somebody who really knows how to cut hair as well. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in any of these hair systems. If you do wear one, you know, I'd love to know your, your feedback. Again, lavividhair.com. Great products, really great quality. I definitely suggest checking them out.